This is Sandy, welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the quinoa salad that I made on my last video with the shrimp. If you haven't watched the curry, uh, garlic shrimp video yet, you should go watch it because it goes perfectly with the quinoa salad. So I'm going to be showing you how to make the quinoa salad. Uh, really easy to make the preparation time and the cooking time combined is going to be less than 25 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. You will find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. In a saucepan, we're going to bring two and a half cups of water to a boil, then season this water with salt and pepper to taste. I just added about half a teaspoon of each, but remember the salt and pepper are always to taste and just keep in mind that you can always add more salt and pepper later. So once the water is boiling, now add in the quinoa and give it a quick stir with a fork then cover the saucepan with a lid, reduce the heat to low and cook the quinoa for about 15 minutes or until the liquid is completely gone and the quinoa is completely cooked. The cooking time will depend on the brand and type of quinoa that you're using so please do check the cooking instructions on your package to verify the cooking time. After 15 minutes or so, this is how the quinoa looks. As you can see, it's nice and fluffy and the liquid is completely gone and the quinoa is nice and tender, so it's done. So turn off the heat and add in the rest of the ingredients, uh, the olive oil, the chopped tomatoes, the green onion, and a little bit of fresh cilantro. Also add in the southwestern corn mixture. Then toss everything together until well combined. Taste the flavor and add more salt and pepper if needed. And that's about it. Once you're happy with the flavor, you're ready to serve. Quinoa is a great alternative to replace rice and pasta and it also makes a delicious and nutritious side dish to any kind of meat and it's perfect for any kind of diet. I'm going to be serving mine with the shrimp that I made on my last video. It's the curry shrimp. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out. And I will also garnish it with avocado slices and cucumber slices. And that's it. Enjoy! To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. The link is going to be down below. And remember, you will also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest. I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!